what my dad said. And I said, uh, okay. What did your dad say? My dad said he prayed to God while I was in surgery that if, if he would let me come out and be okay, that he would go back to church. <laughs> uh-huh. I said, well, of course he did. <laughs> of course he did. That's Yeah, well, that's great. I, I hope he sits right beside you. Uh-huh. <laughs> I was like, you know, I was oh, on one hand it was so exciting, and on the other hand it was like, well, I guess it's just exciting for us, mm-hmm. you know. And right. somewhere down the line, we'll, we'll, you know, of course, I've told that story many times. but It just makes you wonder how many millions of stories like that there are out oh, there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Where they tons. didn't say anything. Yep. Yes. Yep. So, uh, so tapping is, uh, tell us about tapping. All right. All right. So what you read from Nick Gortner's um questionnaire there or question uh, list is is very accurate. I will tell you this, that one of the things I like to tell people, because I'm hoping what you hear today will cause you to go go to YouTube and go look at some videos about tapping and EFT. I got to tell you, I'm a huge fan of Gary Craig's and I don't, and even though I have a lot, I have Gary, Gary, I have Nick Ortner's book and a few other people's books, but I'm, I'm, I stick to the original guy i'm sort of a purist when it comes to the tapping That's you know a good thing. and even though i've added it to when i have do reiki with other people i still i stick to the basics and so gary craig's uh, website is emofree.com and <clears throat> but what you'll find there is the tapping you know one of the most common questions i get when i go to show somebody the tapping is yes we have all these points that we're tapping on as we go through addressing an issue of any kind it can be fear of the dentist or a toothache or a headache or whatever it is oh i wish i would have known that earlier today (laughs) well make a note (laughs) you won't forget the next time yeah and so the points that you tap on are the same no matter what the issue is whether it's an emotional issue or a physical issue, we tap on the same points. That mm-hmm. is kind of out of the box for a lot of people, too. So There's there goes like, that mind-body connection again. <laughs> yes. And so so that's really hard for some people to wrap their head around, that it doesn't matter whether it's for emotional or physical. And the other thing that will happen, and I saw this so many times, if somebody came to me for an emotional issue and that's why they learned the tapping, they would forget to use it for a headache or they'd forget to use Mm. it for a chronic problem in a joint or something Mm. that hurts and vice versa. If they came to to me for a pain in their knee that they've had for like forever and we resolved it, whether we resolved it or not, they would never think to use it for sadness, for anger, you know, for trust issues, procrastination, all kinds of other things. Hmm. So it was really hard because, like, some people use Tylenol for a headache, but you don't use Tylenol because you're sad. Right. You know, so oh, it so was, that's how they look at it. Yeah. You know, so it's a barrier that, that we have to find a way to overcome. Huh, that's that, that was a very good way to put it, Brenda. Yeah. <laughs> so you you relate it to one thing and forget that it will help any everything. Yes, that was a very good way of putting it. Well, while I've got you there on that on that on that example, here's the other example I use cuz I have people that we've done really big things. You know, come overcome some like phobias from elevator ele- elevator phobias mm-hmm. that they'd had most like thirty forty years, big things that took us two and three hours maybe to get through and get done and 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 get over, and yet big things like that I run into them maybe three months later and say hi how you doing you know and they'll say really good and maybe down the line they'll say something about boy you know I've well, I've had this shoulder thing that's really bothering me I said so. Did you try the tapping? Oh, no, I didn't think of that. What? <laughs> Even though I got what? him through the... <laughs> you know, it just... It was, <laughs> that was too small of a thing to waste tapping on. <laughs> you know, I'm sure that I'm sure that elevator thing was a one-shot deal. Right. <laughs> no, oh, good grief. Huh, isn't that funny? It is. Our minds isolate things and put them in compartments, <laughs> and we can't get out of that. Yep. yep. That's very interesting. So the points are the same, but what you're saying is different. And what you're saying is really what we focus on there is the focus, meaning what you say is meant to keep you on track and try to be um, as laser-focused as the word we use. Try to be as laser-focused on the issue as you can be. 
Meaning, if you're tapping a lot, let me tell you how it sounds. It'll go like, let's say that somebody, let's say there was a headache. Let's say, Deb, that you had a headache. Okay. All right, okay. so here's how it would go. I'd show you where the points were. I'd expect where, where we're going to go. Show us. Like a monkey see, monkey do. Right. That's how it usually is. Okay. So do you have a real issue that you would like to? Uh, I don't have a head. Oh, I have a, a back. Butt pain, actually. Okay, like a sciatic or a tailbone? Yeah. Yeah. Is Pete bugging you again? Yeah, he's paining my He's, <laughs> he's a pain in my ass. <laughs> my husband here. No. Um, butt pain. It's um, P.I. Anyways, it's, yeah. The, uh, the uh, oh, I think P. I know P. what you're saying. Uh, okay. Whatever. All right, so on a, on a scale of 0 to 10, this is, how, this is exactly how it starts. On a, on a scale of 0 to 10, sitting there right now on this stool, which may or may not be a good thing, is, it, you know, is there a, a level of uncomfortableness? It doesn't have to be excruciating, but this is how we start, you know, on a scale of 0 yeah. to, to 10, so that when we're done tapping, we can compare, did we do right. anything? Right, So. No. It, I, it doesn't bother you right now at no. all? Even if you stood if up? I stood up. So stand if, you, up, if you if you stand up, oh, excruciating! Yeah. The butt pain will start. All right. So normally, when you stand up from sitting on a stool like that, what what do you think it would be? So we, so that we can um, keep moving. It on. could go up to seven. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Okay. So in another minute or so, or 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 so, you'll expect that to start a, start to escalate. Okay. Yeah. So do you mind standing for our example here for a minute? Not at all. I'll, I'll walk a little bit to bring okay. it back quicker. Oh, <laughs> she's she's a tad masochistic, so it works out well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you guys, so yeah, so I, it's really interesting, isn't it? How um, how the points are all the same, no matter if it's emotional or physical, right? And it's either these points are the beginning or the ending of some uh, of major meridians, like right. there's a, thirteen major meridians on the body. And if you can look at charts, and you'll see that this top of the head, we use the one on the top of the head, beginning of the eyebrow, which is good for you, Deb, to know. You can see now what we're doing here, we're, what we're going to be doing: the beginning of the eyebrow, the side of the eye, under the eye, under the nose, between your lip and your chin, right here in this dip, right there. Then the collarbone spot, which is probably the hardest one for people to get the drift of. You know where the U is, that dip in your collarbone right mm-hmm. at the base of your throat? Well, there's two corners there from that, that U shape. It's actually called the K27. Oh, right. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. So you just tap on one or both of those. Uh-huh. Some people use it like this part of your fist and just... So oh, so you get both, both of them. Right. And then four inches below your armpit, one side or the other. Oh, that'd be... Yeah, it's a little tricky on, for some some of us. Yeah. And then the side of your hand, which is actually where we're going to start when we start the setup statement. We start that's called the karate chop, and that's it. That's the points. Now the one question that always comes up right after I show where the points are, they'll say, "So do I didn't do I need to remember that order?" And the truth of the matter is, no, you don't. The only reason we have a pattern is it's easier to learn that way. Oh, right. Easier to remember. Yeah, yeah. Right. So if you forget one, you don't have to start over. You just go back and get it. Oh, that's nice to know. And sometimes you may not even notice that you missed one, and maybe you got results anyway. Ah, very good. Okay. So there's eight. Eight, did you say? Oh, there's 13 major meridians. But how many tapping spots? One, two, two three, three, four, four five, six, six, seven, eight. Two. And we start at this one. Okay, nine. nine. Okay. Now, there used to be more. We had what we, and originally Gary had a what they called a long version and a short version, but most everybody's uh-huh. doing this short version that I showed oh, you. Good, okay. So now so. you're going to, how is it now on a scale from 1 to it's 10? It's in the middle of the back, so I can feel part of it now. So on a scale from 1 to 10, what is it? Probably Ten. a 4 right now. Okay. okay. All right. Well, we don't need to let it be a runaway train or anything. No. Nope. <laughs> yeah, all right. We don't want you crying. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So just for the sake of it, because once in a while, what we'll experience with someone is the pain may start out as something burning and it'll shift to a dull ache. Or it may be uh, more of a very, very sharp pain, and maybe now it's more of a bruisey feeling or something. And on a Mm -hmm. rare occasion, it'll also shift sometime on its way to leave, so to speak. So those are just some disclaimer things that we put out there. Sometimes it changes how it feels. All right. So starting here on the karate chop on the side of your hand. 
So what I ask you to do is, and this is this is the statement that I almost always make, is I'm going to ask you to say what I say even if I'm wrong. Can you say that? Can you do that? Say what I say even if I'm wrong. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> <laughs> We're in the group She's now. good, yeah. We're ready. So, yep. yeah. <laughs> All right. So uh, before we start, tell me, what, how would you describe that pain right now? Dull ache. A dull ache, okay. So even though I have this dull ache. Even though I have have this dull ache and my lower back in my lower back i deeply and completely i deeply and completely love and accept myself love and accept myself even though i have this dull ache even though i have this dull ache in my lower back in my lower back i deeply and completely i deeply and completely love and accept myself love and accept myself even if i had anything to do with even if i had anything to do with why it's still there why it's still there why it's there in the first place why it's there in the first place i forgive myself I forgive Forget myself for any part I played. For any part I played. Even though I have this remaining pain in my back. Even though I have this remaining pain in my back. I deeply and completely. I deeply and completely. Love and accept myself. Love and accept myself. On top of the head. Now we're going to shorten up the statement. Uh, this lower pain. This lower pain. This lower back 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 pain. Take a deep breath. Now, you check in. That's all right. Check in and see how it feels. If do you need to walk a little bit? Um, I'll walk. Okay. I'll All right. I substituted tooth for lower back. Okay. Okay. Good. Actually, what we do, there's something, well, I used to do these, I did these in some larger groups in San Diego. We, I think our largest group was like 78 people. And they have something they call borrowed benefits. Ah. And so we do these in large groups, and you tell everybody in the audience uh, to pick... Uh, first of all, we have them choose three things that have an intensity on a scale of 0 to 10, 5 or above. And they write them down. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then I bring what I call my victim up to the front. <laughs> okay. wants to come Everybody up needs a victim. Yep. Yeah. And then we, I ask everybody to tap along with him as though his issue was their issue. Ah. And I got to tell you, there's people who are doing this in groups of 400 and getting 90% results with the people wow. who are in the audience. It's called borrowed benefits. It's a it's a it's a, a really cool experience to be in when it when you do it. When I you have a guess. chance to do it. So, it's a really you know, we're all connected by energy, you right, know what I mean? Yes. And so there's it stands to reason that it would work that well. So, so how is the lower back? I think there's less discomfort, but then I walk so it's hard to tell? Yeah. Okay, let me tell you this. What normally, if we wanted to continue on, mm-hmm. <clears throat> the setup statement to, to keep after it would go something like this. Even though I have this remaining backache, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. And I encourage people to be more emphatic. You know, in fact, I've even told people, roll up the windows in the car if you're in the car and scream it and yell it. Be emphatic, not so robotic Mm -hmm. about it. You know, put some emotion into it. Sometimes that helps break through what's getting in the way. Oh, right. Okay. So so that's one thing. Uh, the, The setup statement would go, even though I have this remaining pain in my back, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though I have this remaining pain in my back. I deeply and completely love and accept myself. And even though I have this remaining pain in my back. And then the set up the shortened statement would be this remaining pain. This remaining pain. This remaining pain. This remaining pain. I'm doing this on Deb's behalf. This remaining pain. This remaining pain. This remaining pain. And quite frankly, I do this surrogately. 
I mean, I have been able to do this. And this is this. You want to talk about something that wigs people out? Like distance Reiki kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And I do it with screaming babies in restaurants. Have you ever been in a restaurant where there's a baby? You know, they they can't help what's happening there, but you know they're like wrecking your meal. <laughs> and, yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, that seems kind of cruel to say, but I mean, you know it's what I true. mean. It's true. You, know? you didn't go out you to can't eat talk. to hear a baby cry. <laughs> And so, um, and so, there's been times where Zip will say, "She'll wait. She's waiting for me to do something." She says, "So you're going to do something or?" 